Hi there, everyone. This is Erwin Huesma, Applications Engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. I'm here to show you part three in our multi-part series on injection mold design within SolidWorks. Uh, in the previous video, we checked out some parting line shortcuts and other tools to speed up the process. But in the next couple of videos, I want to show you a little bit more about what's happening in the background, how we can manually manipulate SolidWorks to make our molds work. In case you ever run into an issue, here's how you'd go about fixing those issues. There are times, I'll admit it, that uh, it doesn't quite work out. The, the standard tools that are given to us don't quite do everything that we're looking for. So we may have to go about this manually. What I'm going to do in this case is actually make a copy of this geometry so that I do have a solid model that I can work with in the future. You can always do this after the fact, but while I'm here, I might as well just copy this part using move copy bodies without any translation or rotation. And now what that'll do is I'll have a copy of that geometry hidden away. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is kind of non-intuitive. I'm going to break this part down and then convert the two halves of this part into surface bodies. So I'm going to use the split command, which sits right up here. I'm going to start that up. I'm going to use my top plane, my parting plane, as my trim tool. And I'm only going to trim this one body out. Make sure that your other solid body's hidden, otherwise it'll trim out both of them. And we don't want that. By clicking Cut Bodies, I can choose which bodies I want to keep, both in this case. So I can hide either my top or my bottom. In this case, I'm just going to hide my top. And I'm going to delete these faces. Currently, as we see it, this is a solid body. But if I delete off these faces, I turn it into surface geometry. So I'm going to do that for the bottom and for the top. You do have to do this twice. You can't apply this feature to two bodies within the same operation. So you do have to run the, the command twice. And now what I have is two pieces of surface geometry that exactly match my original solid geometry. Now these two pieces of surface geometry are going to go into these folders called the cavity core. And there's actually another one called the parting surface bodies. If you want to find these surface uh, mold folders, we can either insert mold folders or simply running shut off surfaces will give you those folders by default. So if you're doing this all manually, you'll have to hit this insert mold folders and you'll see that we've got these different folders in here. Now that's just step one of building this mold manually yourself. So I'm going to pause there. We're going to pick this back up in the next video and complete the, the surface bodies altogether, put them into these surface bodies folders and continue on. If you want to see more videos like this or just continue watching this series, please subscribe to Hawkridge Systems YouTube channel, and I hope to see you then. Until then, take care.